Hi guys, so today I want to show you how you can create this sci-fi glow from the inside cube directly in Blender. So of course we need a cube. Press Shift A and add a cube. So for the whole thing to work, um, we have to delete the inside of the cube. So that's easy. We just add the solidify modifier right here. We can go to wireframe mode and just increase the thickness, maybe like this, and apply. Cool, now the inside is deleted. You can see it, yeah, right here. So now we just can create already a light, just a point light and put it right in the middle. Nice. Of course, we can increase the power. Just try a thousand watts, watts, watts. Okay, next step, just create a new material and don't forget to go into the material settings right here. And on displacement, activate displacement and bump or just displacement, doesn't matter. So now we need another tool. It's called, what is it called? J displacement. Uh, this just can create some displacement maps for free. Uh, link is down in the description right here. So when you open it up, it looks like this. Just press on the dots and here yeah, some presets just go for the classic press here and this map gets created okay now i'm using this displacement map go on or I'll press on save height and just save it anywhere you like okay back in blender press uh, on the principal bsdf with Control T, you need the add-on Node Wrangler. I hope you know how to activate it. And uh, just click on Open and select your displacement map. Uh, delete from base color. Here we need a displacement node with displacement and color into height and set this to non-color. Yeah, it looks not so cool. That's because we don't have enough vertices. We just have these. So to add more vertices, you could, on, uh, you have to subdivide the mesh. You can do subdivide the whole cube like this. Or you can try adaptive subdivision. It's way more accurate. Ac accurate, the English word. Yeah, you know what I mean. But for this, you have to activate the feature sets experimental. And it only works in cycles. So I'm going with adaptive, adaptive subdivision. Maybe. 0 0.5, looks cool, looks cool. And decrease the scale a bit too much. Yeah, maybe like this. Decrease the scale of the texture. Cool. So yeah, nearly the last thing we have to do. Um, activate subsurface scattering in the principal shader. I go with 0 0.2, starts glowing. And with metallic, I go to 0 0.75, just to make it look more metallic. Then I also decrease the brightness of the cube, just make it gray. I think it looks, looks more sci-fi 
And you, and of course you can increase or decrease anything here. The problem is when you put metallic to one, subsurface scattering doesn't work anymore. So of course you have to um, play with the values. Of course, yeah, could also change the light color. Looks cool too. So now we just put the cube right here and press F12. Wow, cool. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. That's it. It's pretty easy. Please like the video and subscribe. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool.